All right, Jeff presents tutorials. This is part two of my overall tutorial on how to play burnt PlayStation 2 games and how to create them. Um, this will button came off my shirt. It's getting old. Anyway, um, this will show you how, in my best personal reference, where and how to download in a proper way. Tips not really proper, just my basic tips to get the fastest downloads for your PS2 games. Alright, first of all, make sure you have a DVD burner. You have to have a specific DVD burner. This computer doesn't have it, but if you look on your CD drive, you can see these little systems, I mean little icons. You see mine has DVD and a little disc and under it, it says CD rewritable. Yours, if yours has a DVD burner, it should say, um, DVD and under to say like RW or something like that, writable, readable, you know, whatever. If you don't know if your computer can um, read, uh, can burn DVD CDs, um, get a DVD, a blank DVD CD and put it in your computer. If your computer cannot read it, cannot read it like it does if you put a CD in there, then you probably can't. So. If, it, if, if you open DVD Crypt and it can't read it, then, which is a program you'll need, by the way, you know, yeah. So, okay, you'll need that. Of course, you need some DVD CDs. You need DVD Crypt, Decrypt, or Decrypt, DVD Decryptor, searched in Google. It right? should be like the first one of the first three links, and download it and install it. Then after that, you should be all set for burning it. Now we gotta go download it. That is the hard part. Now there's two ways to do it. If you have DVD Crypt, you can borrow a friend's game, pop it in your little disk drive there. For all those who are first part, this is I'm just got finished doing the video for the exploit. I'm gonna take that out because I want it to load it up again. But you're gonna put your game right here. If you ha actually have the copy, this is like the easiest way to do it. Put your game right here and pop it in. DVD Crypt, whether you have it, if, if, if now if you're now to create ISO files, which is compression for CDs, I guess you can um you can um if you're, you can play DVDs, if you're at least read DVDs, and you should be set. I'll make the ISOs. Like I do on this computer sometimes. On my really, really old computer that doesn't even have a DVD burner. DVD burner won't even create it on that computer. But you can like burn, burn them off the CD, write them, read them off the CD and get them. That is like the easiest way. Then like burn them right after you get it. That is like the easiest way to do it. Because you already have the game. You don't need to worry about downloads and crap like that. Alright, second way in order of preference is going to this site right here. PS2ISO.net Now, just in case some of you are from this website, I will not say who gets the game from. Basically just search a game you want. I'm going to put a game I just got. Three there it goes. I mean, you can keep it short. I keep mine short. And for those of you who don't know, I'm looking for Kino Hearts for Gen Memories. I just got that game. But then you'll see a whole bunch of people with their list of games. Click on. Start with the first one. I know I typed in Retain of Memories, but since this is just a... This is a tutorial. I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna pick out a random game. And they usually have the picture of the game and like the link where to get them. All people's, all their links may not would like stop working or whatever. I was interested in this game. I'm not gonna download it now, but let me look at. It. We're gonna use this as an example. Now most people use Mega Upload. At first I didn't like it, but now I do, because they have happy hours at nine o'clock. I'm in Central Time, so yeah figure out your time zone. That means that you don't have to wait the hour limit. You don't have to worry about 
you know, if you download the file, because these files are large, so you might want to wait till a happy hour, you know, and you can download as many files as you want in an hour, unless you have one of those accounts, you can download them whenever, so, if they download them someplace, I don't know the rules for other places, but that's why I like downloading and make upload, I usually do my downloads real late, around 8, so by the time the first one's finished, it'll be 9 o'clock, whatever, you know, find you a good game, there goes Kingdom Hearts 2. There goes Retrain of Memories. Make my next collection. I might get that. Well, he's re uploading that, but I might get that next. You know, pick a game. I'm not even going to sit here and stay on it forever. Ooh, I want that game. Anyway, so pick a game, download it. You know, they'll usually be like in ra rare files, so you need Brendan Rodgers just case you don't have it. And when you get it, extract it. It should be in parts, like raw parts. What you do if it's in the raw parts, like if it's save like chain of memories, and I got the camera off on my God, I didn't fix it. Like if it says like like Kingdom Hearts, like if I was in Kingdom Hearts, that raw, that part, blah blah blah, that something else. It's like really long. It's usually says like that. Then you just open up in Renoir, and it's just pull the file out, and as long as all the parts are in the same folder, it'll be fine. Um, it's almost 11 o'clock, and I gotta go to bed at 11.30. Um, next part, um, if some people, like, use 7Z, 7Z and use 8, a program, program called, they split the program, like, literally split the program in a different part so they can upload it. I use HJ split to join the files. Most people don't do it, but I hate when people do it. I don't even usually mess with it. See, that's why I don't like now like this. It's kind of the like, most common option, but, uh, so tedious. Um, next one, torrents. Now, I like this one because you can just leave it alone and it'll just download forever. But you have to worry about cedar leachers, connection speed, all that good stuff. And it might take days. But, like, but I can finish a 4 gig game in like a day from PS2 ISO to network. That's why I say whatever. So once you finish downloading your game, now I have all my stuff on my flash drive. You're going to open up DVD Crypt. Pop your CD in there. I'm not going to actually do it. it well, I says device not ready, but it just says device is ready. Blah, blah, blah. Make sure you're in mode right. Use this to select your ISO file. Then when you put your disk in, that should turn green. Now your right speed. Now, this bike for me is like the most confusing and most tedious part. If you mess this part up, if you burn it wrong or if it's incomplete burn, your disc would not work and you've just wasted the CD. Congratulations. Well, big games, like four games, like I like Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, um, Chain of Memories, and Kingdom Hearts Final Mix Plus are both like over four gigs. So I burn those at eight speeds and they both work fine. But then again, I have Kelowna. To Lutina's Bell, I burned that. At, that's a two gig game, and I burned that at 2.4 gig time speed, and it burned fine. People say burn. It. Somebody told me burn at high speed. Somebody told me they're at the low speed. So I'm gonna use my rule and say if it's a big file, burn it faster. Once you select your burn speed, click when this is green. Click it, and you, you're done. Once it says it's done with the with the files, it, well, it won't pop out for me. But when I use it on one computer, it did. It'll pop out. Take CD, and you're ready for part two. I mean part three. So, all right. See you guys in my room.